Okay, thank you. Welcome back. So our next story. You know, the refusal of Nigerian politicians to accept election outcomes means that the court must intervene to maintain a semblance of sanity. The Apex Court or the Supreme Court, if you like, in a unanimous judgment dismissed the appeal brought to it by a former Deputy Senate President and governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in a March 18, 2023 election in Delta State. I'm talking about Senator Ovie Omoagere. He challenged the election of Governor Sheriff Bore Bore. Uh, the Apex Court also affirmed the electoral victories of six other governors at the same election, including Dapa Abiodun of Ogun State, Ubasani of Kano, Kaduna State, Abdullah Isule of Nasarawa State, and some others. You know, was somebody wrong in alluding to a judi judicialization of the electoral process in our country? Uh, Kunwe. Of course, we've discussed this several times. Okay. And uh, many people are becoming extremely uncomfortable, especially with the Supreme Court of Nigeria, whereby the people will go out, you know, do the voting, all the suffering, all the expenses, everything. And at the end of the day, it's another person. The, the ballot box is not allowed to so determine that. At some point, you know, when it first started, people liked it. But it got to a point, people became jittery that. People if you win mm. as a person and you know you truly win, you are not still sure that you will in government. Of getting your mandate. Because because <laughs> your opponent can conjure anything under the sun, go to court and a lot of abracadabra bring smart lawyers. And before you know it, <laughs> uh, there are times you have judgments without justice. And mm -hmm. by this I mean, when the Supreme Court, we, when our courts will leave the substance and be giving judgment mm -hmm. based on technicalities. Yeah. Now, the Supreme Court seems to have, you know, realized that this is not the way. Now, it's not about technicalities, about justice. Just, yeah. And you the, can the, see... The facts of the matter. Yes. And uh, look at all the judgments so far. I'm too sure that the Supreme Court also, you know, monitors the mood <laughs> of the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a lot of, you know, expectations, and uh, you can see that in the political environment is calm, you, if you notice it. And from what I can, you know, deduce, you will see that um, we are moving toward a stage where we need to start doing the right thing. For example, look at what happened in Plato states, what people call judicial, you know, rascality. Mm. You know, you saw a place of, uh, I think about, is it nine or 14, you know, lawmakers, you know, the same scenario, the same everything, but the court of appeal rubbished it. So I'm brought in people that didn't win. And on the grounds that, Oh, you didn't have uh, uh, the, 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 your party didn't have structure in place to produce you and uh, this and that. And on this kind of issues, the Supreme Court has pronounced that unless you're a member of a political party, it is none of your business to challenge what the happens in another government. party. Yes, that you are a meddlesome interloper if you do so. Yeah. But this, the, the appeal court, you know, contravened that position of the Supreme Court. And now, it's bringing a lot of problems in play to state now. Many of people are saying, no, we do something about it. Unfortunately for them, the law of Nigeria does not permit them to go to the Supreme Court. So the same matter, of course, with the governor of that state, Caleb, you know, and well, yeah. you see the tone of the Supreme Court. The, su the Supreme Court, you know, chastised their, uh, their, their court court, judges yeah. very well. And because it was so what we are supposed to be doing now, judgments like this, when they happen, the lawyers that bring them, you should you should be able to have sanction for them. Yeah. The judges that bring them sanction for them. We have the appropriate mechanism to do this. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. Doctor, you hear things crazy things like 
we are a special people, you know, a special breed. Is this why our politicians um, cannot act, you know, play by the rules? I think, the, I, the I, I think it was you or him who talked about uh, aping the American type democracy. Yeah. In America, if you beat me at an election, I congratulate you and yeah. we move on. We move on. Yeah. I, I think there is, what we can claim to be special people for the special law. The law is the law. Like the case we just spoke about in Plato now, it's a major one. And how this is resolved, despite the limitation of the level to which those who are affected can go, that is those yeah. who run for the House of Assembly and National Assembly seats, despite that limitation, justice must be done. Mm. Because it's not just enough for us, for the Supreme Court to tell us that the Court of Appeal aired, and those who were rubbish, who were affected by that failure of the Court of Appeal to be left to suffer. We've seen cases where somebody has been in prison in this country for six, seven, ten years, and they say he's not guilty, he should go home. And then the person walks home and doesn't complain. That doesn't make sense. In order to but, but carries in, in the, the he, he carries the toga of uh, a lemon. An a lemon. Convict. Uh, convict. <laughs> yes. Sometimes for like, for like that's what happens. So, but in other clients, especially where we borrow that democracy, which is American, American style, the court pronounces a compensation for the man. Everyone. Everyone at that. So we shouldn't allow some of these things to slide. We need to find a way to revisit that injustice in Plato. Otherwise, people will keep losing faith in democracy yeah. and wanting to do what you just yeah. said. Yeah. Going above what is allowed by the law to ensure that it gets into work. Because we've said it, people just go for election now. And once they win, they tell the other person, go to court. Yes, go to court. Because they know that that process is going to be slow, and that person is not likely to get justice. I have the, the, is it possible to relate what happened in Edo State to this particular one, the particular thing in Plato? Is it Where Edo? Yeah, where 14 members of the state house who won an election yeah. were not sworn in. We're not sworn in for so many. Okay, you election. mean uh, years back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, a diff it's different from this. Okay. We are talking about what happened in the court. Because when you go to the court, you, get, you go there to seek justice. Redress, and yeah. these people got injustice at their peak court. Mm. And it's so clear, nobody is able to put that. And the Supreme Court has come out to affirm it that it's injustice and it's, the appeal court is totally wrong. In fact, it's to use very unkind word for our people, you know. Mm. Now, coming back to the issue of uh, Omar Gigi, yeah. Omar Gigi lost that election flat. But do I tell you something? Many of our politicians know they don't have a case. But because they want to keep a hold on their political structure, they want to keep deceiving some of the you know, folks that work for them, that believe in them, that follow them, they will devise all sorts of amateur, you know, uh, abracadabra reasons, they go to and court. That's and that's to it, because some lawyers are telling them <laughs> it is doable. So that's why I said we, are mo we should move to a work. stage where... By Lawyers that bring frivolous cases to court, you should have a way of sanctioning them. Yeah. Because I know you want money, you will get it, but it shouldn't be at the expense of our country. When you look at a case and you believe there is no case, for example, the lawyers that took, you know, uh, the matter to, to uh, sorry, I pay court in Plato State, mm. those lawyers need to be sanctioned. That is my opinion. The judges, they also need yeah. to ask a question. Yeah. We have the NJC. As NGC, long as yeah. it is I'm done wrong. properly, there is nobody that is above the law. Mm. You get what I'm saying? The president of Nigeria, the vice president, or there is nobody that is bigger than the law. And this, this time around, we are not discussing the president of Nigeria. 
We are not discussing the vice president. We are discussing people who should be dispensing justice. Are yeah. they doing that? So what you see in Norma Gege's case, when you go from state to state where they fight, why are we like this in African countries, small African countries? Why are they not misbehaving us the way we are doing? Every little the, election, the believes we will pursue it. The, we the will. believe we are a special breed, whatever that means. <laughs> it's in a negative, in sense. negative sense. That's too don't negative. let us, don't, we have to be honest. We, we are a special that. breed in a very negative sense. In this case. In every little thing, you and your wife, you quarrel, and the matter has to go to court. <laughs> you have to pursue it up to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. I slap you, Citizen Jones. You, you say you will take me to court, and you will not until we get to the Supreme Court. And unfortunately, do you know the funny thing about us again? Many of the times, we will go to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court will pronounce. We still, we still not in, you know, implement the judges, uh, ju judgment. We not okay. Let's discuss. Uh, let's settle. Yes, and we have yes. several of those cases all over here in Lagos and everywhere. Yeah, then why do we now go? Many, too many cases to handle. Are you surprised that cases, you know? cases dating back to 2010, 2011 are still yeah, in, in court? Yes. Poli political cases. Mm -hmm. Including business-related cases, so not many. just political land, cases. Land matters, um, you know? Chief Tansi issues. Some of them have been there, 80s, 90s. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? We're, we're not and in that the, the way of you see, you see lawyers to prolong... The life son of yeah. the cases, mm -hmm. so much that at the end of the day, many people die in the process. Yeah. And, then, uh, and that's why what you said is, is quite um, germane. Not, yeah. We should ensure it has been done with about three senior advocates of Nigeria. They were fined heavily 60 million, 40 million for bringing cases that are already dead and decided. Mm. How do you come to bring a 2015 2019 case for one man who lost the election to? To, you, to be affirmed as governor. Mm. Mm. So why are you wasting the time of the court? So, 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 so as, as it is, in 2024, Jan, today is the 19th? 19th, yes. In 2024, January 19th, we are stuck with the politicians we have here. We are. We are, we, we, we are damned. No, we, 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 can, get, we uh, can overcome it. Okay. Like you suggested. Uh, NJC should be involved in that plateau case. The case of the governor, you know, who refused to swear in legislators, he should be dealt with. It. His power will be over in a few months. Mm -hmm. And somebody needs to go back and challenge him because that is, that is wrong. Politically, you will be right. But some people couldn't have voted for somebody to represent them, and you prevent them from so it having means access. That 14 constituencies in, in Nigeria. Yeah, had, had no representation States. throughout that yeah. period. Mm. Or for you, as a governor, to present a budget to four assembly members. Mm. That's wrong. And you are told it is from that, one, that one has even been rectified. No, but we're saying even in the first place, we didn't have come to be. How did it come? To, how did you come to that sorry pass in this and, country? And you know, and. No, that's not alone. Not that, that's not all. How can you go to the election to win an election on platform O O O? That's a political party. Okay. And you are sworn in the second day. You are now a so so so. so. We should find a way to deal with that. We are not doing parties in democracy. We are not. So mm -hmm. all of these things contribute to all the mess we are facing here. We should find a way to deal with all that. Let the Supreme Court take a position. There are times it's very difficult because. To, you know, to, to do you know to pass laws in this regard because yeah. those who will do it many of them are beneficiaries of this kind of mess. But the Supreme Court can take a decision once and for all. All right, let's apply the breaks here, mm -hmm. but not before saying congratulations to the governors who won. Yeah, congratulations to all of them. And please, to those who lost, let's play by the rules. It's only natural. It's only natural. For those who are in Nasarawa, they should please take it easy. There is a protest going on. All right, to Alas.